It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this momentous occasion. We are really, really pleased that you could join us for this celebration and the naming of the Senator Margaret Carter Technology Education Building. When the children, our children ask, what does the name on this building mean? Tell them that there was a Margaret Carter who stepped off a bus off a train one day in Portland, Oregon, with babies in her arms and children in tow. Tell them that it was a Margaret Carter who forged on believing that I can, and she did. She's living proof that it really doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going and all the places she has gone. I'm honored to have the chance to be here today to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Portland Community College and the new Margaret Carter building. I think both the college and Senator Carter are true beacons of achievement uh, for our state. Uh, over the past 50 years, this institution, as I understand it, has educated more than a million people who have gone on to become Oregon's teachers and firefighters and police officers and welders and small business owners. This institution changes people's lives and opens the doors of opportunity. And that's what Senator Carter has done throughout her entire political career. And it is uh, truly, um, I think, fitting that we're having this remarkable gathering today in recognition for Margaret uh, while we're pondering a half century of commitment to this community for Portland Community College. Big woman, big voice, big heart. She'll be remembered for many things, but it won't, I think, at the end of all of this. It's not going to be her achievements, her gender, her race. It's going to be her heart. My grandmother has always demanded excellence in education, and she would not, will not, accept any excuses. More important than being the first, she was the best. She was the best state representative, the best state senator, the best urban league president, the best everything, so. But beyond finding new opportunities and a new life for herself, Margaret has dedicated her life and career to finding new opportunities and new lives for those too often left in the shadows of society. Throughout her career, Margaret has brought to life the words of the late Reverend Norman Vincent Peale, who said, think enthusiastically about everything, but especially about your job. If you do, you'll put a touch of glory in your life. If you love your job with enthusiasm, you'll shake it to pieces. Well, whether at PCC, the Urban League, the Department of Human Services, or in the halls of the Capitol, Margaret Carter has brought glory to the life of others, and she has always, always shook her job to pieces. And may all who study here find glory in their life as Margaret has found glory in hers. May God bless Margaret Carter. Today marks an honor and a milestone in my life. For without the support, the motivation, the strength and intestinal fortitude given me by all of you, I would not be standing here today, and please know that. I say to you today, the flame of hope and opportunity cannot, under any circumstances, burn hot and bright without the actions of those that came before them and those to come after them. Thank you. Well, today we're here to celebrate uh, both the college's 50th anniversary as well as a building dedication. We are renaming the Technology Education Building, the Senator Margaret Carter Technology Education Building. Well, it's a celebration of Senator Margaret Carter's achievements and how she's given to the community and the community's, the school's doing something for her now, which is really cool and I was able to take part in it. The thoughts on the day are great. I think everyone can relate to Margaret Carter, especially PCC students that come here looking for an opportunity in Portland, and she's a light of inspiration for everyone. It was great. It was something that PCC needed. It was the first building name for a woman. Margaret was the perfect person for that. I've known Margaret for 30 years, and she's the perfect person. 
it's fantastic that we're finally getting around to naming a building after a woman. Um, I think that uh, you know it's an amazing opportunity to recognize uh, one of the most uh, fantastic women, uh, not only in North and Northeast Portland, uh, but also in the state. And it's a great way to celebrate the college's anniversary and it shows that we're continuing to honor uh, our employees and our students. And Senator Carter uh, is both, actually. My um, mission in the legislature was to help young people in education. So PCC became a personal pride uh, for me to be able to help students in the community college system. And she's an incredible fundraiser. So today she was sharing with folks about the scholarship that she's created at the PCC Foundation. The Margaret Carter Scholarship Fund is just a few dollars short of endowed. And it was just $1,500 away from being endowed. And so she put the call out to folks and said, I want to finish this up. I want to finish the scholarship so I'll be able to award it. So give me some money for the Margaret Carter Scholarship Fund. Our kids need it. Come on, Roy Jane. Come on, Roy. Stand People from all over the room uh, raised their hands and offered to uh, give money to the foundation today. And so that's what my work has been about all of these years, is to make sure that young people have opportunity and have access to education. She knows how to do it, didn't she? Oh, yeah.